Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin, and today we're gonna to talk about some great security tips you can employ that'll keep um, bad actors and hackers out of your account forever. Um, there's plenty of them around, and it doesn't really matter if you set things up properly, so I'm gonna go over this right now. Um, just so you'll know, um, I teach Coinbase um, how to get on Coinbase and how to set up your account there in my beginning crypto class and they've never been hacked successfully. So they're extra ultra secure and I'm gonna teach you how to be secure on your side as well so you've got the perfect uh, match. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up two-factor authentication or 2FA on all your accounts. The first one is your crypto exchange account. You wanna set it up on that. The second thing you wanna set it up on is your primary email account. You wanna make sure that they can't access your primary email account without entering a six digit code. And the third thing you want to make sure is it's on your um, smartphone account login. So if you're with T-Mobile or one of these other networks, um, they usually have a login where you can get into your account. And the reason that's so important is because if a scammer gets a hold of your phone number and they can get into your account, there's no guarantee, but there's a small chance that they can um, move your phone number in into their account and basically have access to your phone number. And that's something you definitely don't want because that's one step closer that they have to steal your coins. That's not all they have to do to take your crypto, but that's a step in the right direction for them and you don't want that. Okay, the second thing you wanna do is set up passwords on your PC, laptop, and smartphone so no one can get to the desktop for, for these two devices. So, if someone ever wants to get to the desktop of my smartphone, they have to enter a password. And without that, they can't even get to the desktop. And same with my PC, they have to enter a password to even get to the desktop. So if someone, for whatever crazy reason, breaks in my house and tries to get to my desktop, they're not gonna be able to do it without guessing a, a password. And those passwords should be something that you know you could remember, but not obvious to anybody else. Um, the third thing you can do to enhance your security is um, put everything you purchase, any coin you purchase on Coinbase, put it in the vault immediately after you purchase it. First, you create a vault for every coin that you have, whether it be Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any of the altcoins. And then um, you can always add coins to the vault when you add to that particular, you know, money to that particular crypto. And keep everything in the vault unless you're withdrawing it, you know, or sending it to yourself, or you're trading it. Or, or whatever, just always keep it in the vault because if someone ever breaks into your account, they're gonna have to enter a 2FA a code a second time just to get to the crypto. They're gonna have to verify an email address and then they're gonna have to wait 48 hours. And anytime during that 48 hours, you could just click a button and say, no way, I don't want that crypto withdrawn. Um, and you, there is even a button in Coinbase where you can lock your account if you have to do that as well. Um, so that's the third thing you can do. Um, the fourth thing I recommend, and this isn't, well, it's sort of a security tip, but it's just something to keep you in good terms with Coinbase, is don't use a VPN. Don't log in from different IP addresses every time because Coinbase will get confused. They're expecting um, only a couple static IP addresses to log into. They, they understand that you might have a smartphone and that you probably have a PC or laptop, so they expect those two. But don't I wouldn't recommend like going to your friend's house and trying to log in and do that as little as possible. Just just try to keep to your own devices. Um, and the reason is because Coinbase is smart and they, they're really up on security and, and they'll make you, re if they feel you're logging in from a um, different device or if there's a different IP, they're going to make you verify your email address and go through that extra step to log in. Um, so that's something you have to do as well. Um, the other thing is if you set up an account at Coinbase or any other exchange, get a unique I, I mean I'm sorry, get a unique email address that you only use for that exchange. Don't use it anywhere else. For, first reason is you don't want a scammer to guess it. And if you're not getting any incoming or outgoing emails and you're not advertising it, nobody should really know about it in the first place. But if you really want to get gangster, set a nice long email address and this is what I do. I'll pick two things characteristic to the city I live in and, and put them in the email address. Two words. This is the front part of the email address, you know, before the at sign. Um, get 
two things and then misspell those a little bit, not too much, but just, you know, transpose them a little bit so it's not that exact word. So technically speaking, only people that live in your city should potentially guess those, those words. And then you're going to put another one. You're going to put a state that you don't live in um, and then misspell that a little bit. Um, and you could also pick a random word and then that'll be your fourth word. Once again, misspell it a little bit, transpose a couple of the letters, and then you wanna put about five or six numbers, um, not necessarily your birthday, <laughs> but just any six numbers, uh, and then five characters at the end that are special characters, like the, the plus sign, the, the parentheses signs, or whatever. Just pick six of those at the top, or five, or whatever. And um, that's my formula for creating a crazy email that nobody would even think about guessing or you don't advertise it anyway. But, and the other thing you want to do with that email address is um, type it on a, or put it on a piece, type it on a piece of paper, print it out, keep it in a folder if you want to do that and put it on a USB drive as a text file, but don't uh, connect it to a USB that's plugged into your computer because if some malware gets in, they might be able to have access to that. Like I said, the chances are nil, but you want to take every precaution you can. Um, you want to, so the other thing too, is if you sign up for three different crypto exchanges, I would recommend using a different email for every exchange because once again, you wanna keep ultimate security for yourself so you can rest easy at night and know that no scammer um, is, gonna have at, you know, is gonna have any chance to break into your account. I mean, they could literally try the rest of your life if you do some of these tips and then, um, and they won't have access to your account. They just won't be able to get in. And the other thing I recommend is, um, well, actually, that's it. I have more tips on my website um, at luckyinvestor.com forward slash crypto class. You could see the, you should be able to see the link in the e, in the autoresponder email that I sent you. Um, and I guess that's about it for this one. There's about four or five more tips on what I just told you. So go check that out. And I look forward to being in touch with you real soon. Have an incredible day.